Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to talk to you about something, and it's kind of weird, but, um, it's like, I don't know how to categorize it, but, like, I, like, tried to decompress part of today. Um, but anyhow, last night, I am walking up to the Dairy Queen to, you know, get, like, a really late dinner. You see the cup back here. Uh, and I'm walking, like, either on the shoulder of the road at the time he passed me or, like, right on the very edge of the road. One of the two. I wasn't, like, out in the middle of the road, just so you have context for this story. And you get used to people passing you from behind because you can't walk facing towards traffic unless you want to walk in a magical ditch. And um, this car passes me from behind, and instead of, like, passing me, like, fairly close like most cars do, like, slowing down and then passing because it's a blind curve going uphill this guy passes me fairly you know fairly quickly then speeds up and goes towards the middle of the road and as he's going up the hill there's this other car coming and there's this horrible screech of brakes and this guy that passed me almost hit him and i thought oh my god i almost caused an accident and luke immediately pipes up no that guy's bad driving almost caused an accident there was you know, no reason for him to pass me, then speed up and, you know, drive the way he did. And it shook me up a little bit, and look, he's like, it's not your fault. He chose, you know, to drive in the middle of the road. What did he think would happen? Because he had been well past me when he decided to go to the middle of the road. He didn't go to the middle of the road when, you know, he was passing me. He did it after for some strange reason. Anyhow... I come home, and I like, kind of forget about it, and I go out today to do something... And coming home on the bus, we're, like, pulling out of the shopping plaza. And I'm really not paying attention because we're all talking about the eclipse. And, like, I'm kind of zoned out. And I see a car coming towards us, but I really don't pay attention to it because everybody in Pennsylvania dressed like a maniac. And the guy behind the driver shouts, hey, whoa, and she slams on the brakes. Well, not slams on the brakes. I mean, we were hardly moving, but she puts the brakes on because she was going to pull out. This car was going so fast, had we pulled out, it would have T-boned us. Now, I don't think anyone on the bus would have got hurt, but at the rate the guy was going, I think he would have been banged up pretty bad. And I just thought, you know, that is two close calls in, you know, like 24 hours. And usually, like, when something like it happens, like, if you walk on the side of the road a lot, like I do for exercise... You get used to the drivers that like to put a good scare into you, and you get used to weirdos and stuff like that. So usually I can brush it off. But there was something about last night, and there was something about today that it was just, it was weird. It was like it was a sign, and I'm like, okay, at first I thought it was like, just last night alone, I thought it was like, always protect you or something. And then the two taken together, I'm like, I'm not sure what to make of it. Maybe I'm being told to slow down. And I'm like, slow down for what? Because it seemed both were traffic related. Then I get a call, like, <laughs> about 6 o'clock, way too late for me to contact my doctor's office, informing me I have a routine checkup coming up on Thursday. I'm like, one, I was just there a couple months ago. And two, um, you know, nothing significant has changed. I'm going to actually call, see if I could skip this one. But it was odd that I got two kind of traffic-related warnings uh, before I was going to take a trip. And I'm like, this is almost like a really lucky version of Final Destination. <laughs> so I was kind of like, I don't know if I should go on Thursday or not. I mean, I don't feel like going anyways because I don't feel like I currently have any health issues. And I actually took myself off some medication. And... I'm going to call the doctor tomorrow and see if I actually have to go or I can reschedule it for like a month or so from now. And it was just, it was, it was weird because it's like, I've never liked really almost violent energy like that. Like last night and today, because I've been in a, I've been in a car wreck, I've been hit by a car. I'm like, cars and I, I'm not a fan. It took me years to learn how to walk by a road and not flinch and how to cross the road and that after I gotten hit by the car. And then having been in a car accident, 
I'm okay usually to ride in a vehicle, but then when stuff like that happens, I'm like, mm, yeah. it's not like I'd be afraid to get into it, uh, the van or whatever that would pick me up on Thursday. It's just like, for me at least, it's kind of like, it's almost like I'm kind of like being given a warning because nobody really got hurt yesterday. Nobody got hurt today. It was all okay. No, you know, nobody was in act any actual real danger because everybody reacted correctly. Um, but it was just weird, and I, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I'm like, in both cases, a driver being irresponsible is the one that almost caused the wreck, and I'm like, okay, I'm overthinking it at this point, but I was just, I don't know, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not gonna be walking on the side of the road this week, I'm like, that's too many close calls for me to feel comfortable, and that's happened before, um, as you walk on the road, uh, I've had a couple of close calls in a row and then like not walked on the road for like a month or so. And then it seems like whatever that energy was, it goes away and it like, you're fine. You can walk on the road again. And it just seems right now, like it's like, everything's telling me stay off a stupid road. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, Loki, with me, he likes to let me proceed on my choices. It's not like I say, do I have to go do this on Thursday? And he'll say yes or no. He'll say, what do you think? And I hate that, but, um, I'm getting, no, you don't have to go. Um, yeah, because I'm like, I'm just wound up and I had all this change come in. You guys know me, even when it's positive change, like with the computer and everything and the riff came in today i'm like my energy is spastic and all over the place and i've just been getting other surprises in life too both good and bad and i'm like mm, i i need some time to decompress i kind of need to take like the rest of the week to kind of take it easy um maybe i do need to slow down Maybe in my head I was going to go full speed ahead with both channels or something and overexert myself. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that's where today is. It was just, it was really strange. And I will call tomorrow and see if I can like, cancel that appointment or schedule it. I mean, if I don't show up, I don't show up. So, <laughs> it's like, you know, they can't forcibly drag me in there because I haven't even made the... Um, ride yet you can't schedule these rides until like i think like a week two weeks ahead so um this totally snuck up on me with the appointment i'm like well if i didn't remember and i swear in my head i had november in my head and i couldn't i even would go and check my calendar and couldn't figure out why it wasn't on my calendar in november it's not on my calendar for this month either but i do have the card and it does say thursday so i'm gonna call her and see what's what maybe they don't even want me to come in sometimes my doctor does that just makes appointments and then if you call in and say hey i'm i'm doing relatively fine and i don't have any changes um i think she'll give me a free pass but we'll see um if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe i'm sorry that's kind of like all over the place but um just sometimes I'm like hypersensitive to the energy of stuff going around me. So I need some time to like kind of decompress and relax, but I'll be okay. And I know I look like super blonde in this video. I don't know why. Okay, guys. Yeah, looking at my hair again, I am like a kitten. You have a kitten slash cat host on this channel. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.